Zara is renowned for making it really easy to add coloured graduations. First select the object you want to fill with a coloured graduation, then select the Fill tool, and now just drag across the object. You can adjust the direction or extent of the graduated fill by dragging the ends of the arrows. You can alter the colours either by dragging a colour from the colour line, like this, or by displaying the colour editor and selecting the end of the fill arrow you want to adjust. As you adjust the colour, you see the document change, and you can create a multi-stage graduation by dropping a colour onto any position on the graduation arrow. And this colour point can be dragged the same way, and the colour editor can be used to adjust the colour as usual. The menu here provides a choice of different fill types. So this is a circular fill, but there are many other types, including fractal textures. Normally the colour editor shows an HSV way of picking colours. If you right-click you can choose RGB sliders or even a CMYK way of selecting colours. Perhaps the easiest way to load a photo is to drag it from your file explorer. Now we can resize it, as shown in earlier videos. You can see it shows us around 500 pixels wide here. The Zara Transparency tool is the most powerful of its type. I can adjust the transparency of any object by selecting it, going into the Transparency tool, and then adjusting the slider. What's more, I can create a graduated transparency in the same way as I created the graduated colour fill. Just drag across the object, and I can select the end points, and adjust the slider here to change the start and end transparency. As with graduated fills, you can adjust the shape of the graduated transparency. So here's a circular transparency. It's solid in the centre and fades to the outside. I'll load an example clip art file. This is the gallery button. The thousands of clip art files are organised into folders. I'm going to load an example sports car drawing. One obvious use of transparency is simulating glass, and the windscreen of this car does use transparency. Its other use is to create reflections, and if I select the screen and go into the transparency tool, you can see it uses an elliptical transparency for the sunlight reflection. If I select the center control handle and hold for a second, you can see the elliptical shape. It's opaque in the center and transparent at the edges. If I move the transparency center, it's like moving the reflection across the screen. I can adjust the transparency value at the edges by selecting an edge handle and now altering the slider, and so here you can see the whole screen is mostly now opaque. The text tool is very simple. Just click the text tool, and click where you want to create a line of text, and type. Alternatively, if you click and drag on the page, you create a text column. Now as you type, your text will be formatted within the column and I can just paste text from other applications to save typing, like this. I can adjust the column by dragging on the end of the column width marker. Text objects are just like all other objects within Zara. I can enlarge using the selector tool and rotate the usual way, but I can still go back into the text tool to edit the text no matter what angle. and I can select regions of text by dragging, then whatever effect I select, be it a font or colour, it applies only to the selected region. 